Hey guys, today I want to talk about settings within iOS. A lot of times we change the settings to get a better user experience depending on how we use our phones or maybe even get more battery life. But in this video I want to talk about some settings that no matter what you do on your iPhone I believe should always be on. They're very very important. So let's get right to it. First I want to go into notifications and if you scroll all the way down you find two government issue alerts. Amber alerts of course for kidnapping and then you have emergency alerts. Both of these are on by default and I believe these should always be on on your device. Uh, have you ever been in a place where there's an Amber alert and every iPhone goes off with the alert and you can see the description of the kidnapper or whatever the situation at the moment may be. That's what Amber Alert is all about. Just making sure that everybody gets that message in hopes to recover the child. Now, the second one is the emergency SOS or the emergency alerts. These emergency alerts or any threat any emergency in terms of weather, earthquake, uh, anything like that, any major catastrophe could be sent to your phone and then you get an alert and then you can take shelter. Yesterday an emergency alert went off in Hawaii. Ballistic missile alert, uh, immediate shelter was required and it was not a drill. Luckily this was an error. It was a big deal actually. A lot of people went kind of a little crazy. I thought a ballistic missile was heading their way but fortunately this was a uh, an accident it wasn't a real emergency but those two options here I believe should always stay on now there's other options here on their face ID that a lot of people ask me about now there's two options here attention aware feature this feature here just requires attention before dimming the display or maybe a uh, muting the sound of notifications while you're looking at the phone but require attention for face ID do not ever turn this off. The reason I say never turn this off is because this will not require Face ID to detect your eyes, to require any attention. Therefore, if you're sleeping, someone grabs your phone, points it at your face, Face ID will recognize your face and if you have this feature off, it doesn't require attention from your vision in order to unlock the phone. Therefore, the person can get in your phone by simply turning the phone onto your face while you're sleeping or something like that. And last but not least, I want to talk about emergency SOS. There's a few options here that you should turn on in case uh, you want to use the five button click on the iPhone 10 on the side here, but you don't have to. The one option that I think should always be on is the auto call emergency SOS. So if you hold the power and the side button together for a few seconds, you'll see emergency SOS five, four, three, two, and then it'll call the emergency services automatically. If you turn that option off, the option to auto call emergency services, then it sort of defeat the purpose of the emergency SOS. So those are some of the options that I wanted to talk about because I thought it was really important to let people know that these options I should definitely, definitely stay on. That about brings an end to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. It's been I Device Help and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.